it going. Get it toasty in here. It's cold as heck outside. We got our holes marked. I didn't get to do anything yesterday, boys. Went to the Javante Tank Davis fight against Hector Luis Garcia. Heck of a performance, boys. But uh, yeah, we got it all marked up. So, get my drill. This is gonna be the tool of choice today with some Milwaukee drill bits that I got from my nephew. Shout out to my nephew, Neil. Love you, nephew. Good looking out. These things is the real deal. But uh, yeah, we're just going to center the bit with these holes and just let her eat and try to wing on with the bolts afterwards. And then this little point here is where I believe the wire goes, but I'm not going to drill that until we've got it mounted on so I can be close, you know, more sure on uh, if that's where I got to drill for the wire because I want it to be, I want the wire to be tight. We're going to be drilling these holes out today. Um, I didn't get nothing done yesterday. Went to the Tank Davis fight. It was a banger, boys. Uh, had a blast. Great. First time experience, getting this heat cranked up a little more. It's, hot. it's, it's cold as You know what else, uh, but anyways, um, we're gonna get uh, the drill bit that matches up the closest to the bolts that came with the wing. We're gonna get that, um, we're gonna get that matched up real quick and uh, I'm gonna get the headset on. I'll be back with y'all. All right, boys, so here's our bolt that we're gonna be drilling a hole for. So I'm gonna try to keep these, this hole size as close as I can to this bolt size. So try to match up. And the bolt's still a little bigger, so. I'm gonna just get them started with this size, and then if we gotta go the next size up, then we will. But let's see what happens. Scary boys. And then he goes the next one. He's gonna do that. This camera turned around. Get this side of it too. As y'all can see, I'm just going in the middle of these holes, like so, and then we'll make them bigger as we need. But as you can see, the bolt ain't even going through there. So now that I got the holes drilled, this was scary. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this trunk lid popped, make sure everything's all right on the inside. All right, boys, so we went with the next size up. But that ain't gonna do the job. Honestly, I think maybe two sizes up is gonna do the job because I had a better look. But even this might not do it. So, all right, guys. So I got the holes drilled, the perfect size for the bolts. Uh, the one on my wire could have probably been a little smaller, but that's all right because I plan on stuffing that thing, pause. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I plan on stuffing it with uh, 
some type of sealant anyway and the wing goes flat down on there so everything is going to work out good um now that i got the holes drilled the wing could be mounted i'm gonna go ahead get the wing mounted and then once the wings mounted i can uh run the wires to my third brake light but uh i don't plan on doing that for a while because i got to get i got to get the wing wiped down with some alcohol and then i'm gonna go ahead and throw some primer on it and uh yeah i mean i know it's not gonna be the color of the car but um yeah i think it'll look better than being black so I don't know. I'm different. I like my stuff a certain way. and Yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to leave it a gray primer or I've got some silver that's a Honda color, but I don't think it's quite the color of the coupe, but it might look better than black, so I might throw that on there. I don't know, but now at this point, wings ready to go on, wires is ready to be ran, but I'm not quite ready to do that yet, so... I'm probably just gonna get this wing bolted on and uh, see what it looks like. All right, boys, so there it goes. I don't got it tightened down all the way, but here you can see. And uh, yeah, like I said before, here's a little bit of the factory OEM EM1 wing spots that already come on the trunk lid for all these EK model coupes. And uh, we're almost right there. So this ain't a bad replica set up here. And uh, as y'all can see, here's my wires. When, uh, like I said, I'm gonna get some sealing up in that hole, stuffed up, pause. I'm gonna run these wires. Excuse the mess, boys. Still building this thing. But uh, I'm going to run these wires into that third brake light. And, uh, yeah. There you have it. Let me open this door. There it is. It's pretty straight, boys. Looks good. Excuse the mess on top. I had to get this on the camera real quick. So. <coughs> so it looks like from both sides. We got it about even on both sides. Hangs over just a little bit there. Come up here, hangs over just a little bit. Almost to the corner, almost to the corner. So, yeah, boys, you see it. Chosen has his own, has a new wing. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get this mess cleaned up, boys. And, um, man, I like it. I'm going to get this mess cleaned up. And um, then uh, once everything's cleaned up, maybe today, if I get bored, have the time, uh, sneak down here. <laughs> and, uh get that thing wiped down with alcohol but i don't know it's really cold today guys uh, i'm not sure if it's gonna be a good day to paint even with my little heater running there but uh i don't know depends on uh how i feel and what comes up today but uh might get uh might go ahead and um take this thing back off wipe it down with alcohol Set up my saw horses out here in the middle like I did for the lip. Pull the car out and then uh, 
Once I get it wiped down with alcohol, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do like I did for the lip. Hit it with some of this adhesion promoter. And then uh, hit it with some of this primer. And I believe I have some, uh, man, look at that boys. Damn, that looks sexy. But anyways, uh, I believe I've got some silver. It's a OEM Honda silver, but I'm not 100% sure that it matches this all the way. But I think that I will like it a lot more. And since I've got the paint just laying around, I think that uh, I'll like it a lot more if it's silver. I mean, even in the dark at night, you know, some night I might decide to drive it with the old lady and the fam. And, uh, you know, at night you ain't going to be able to tell different silvers. So, and I don't plan on getting this thing painted until I can do all the body work. Like I said before, I never done body work myself, but I plan on doing this so I can say I did the whole entire build, me and the wifey. So, um, yeah, since I don't plan on doing the full color change just yet, I'm thanking God willing this summer coming up of 2023, I can do it if all my body work is done and ready. But, um, yeah, uh, I figure, you know, have the silvers at least match and that ass end of the car is going to look phenomenal, especially with that new wing. Man, I love it. So, but yeah, boys, uh, we'll go ahead and get this thing yanked off here and get everything cleaned up and ready to paint. And uh, I guess I'll put that part in this video as well, since there's not much going on with this video so far. So I'll be back with y'all. All right, boys, now that we've got the light masked off and the wires, um, I think this is probably going to be my best uh, solution when painting this thing on getting all the sides uh, with primer and a, well, first adhesion promoter. So anyways, boys, um, I'm gonna go ahead, wipe the lip down with some alcohol, get it all ready for the adhesion promoter. I've got my heat going on in here, as y'all can see, the windows is even foggy. Um, but uh, yeah, it's nice and toasty in here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna, Wipe this down, like I said, with alcohol, and it'll be ready for adhesion promoter. I'm gonna turn, make, uh, make sure my heat's all the way turned up, and uh, I gotta run to the food line supermarket up the street for the wife and get her uh, what she's gonna make for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna let it get a little even more toastier in here um, with the heat, and then when I come back, should be ready for some adhesion promoter and then some primer and uh might get some silver paint thrown on this thing too boys today so i'll be back with y'all here shortly all right boys so there it is with the adhesion promoter on it gives it that gloss and uh ain't gonna be long we can start laying down this primer. So we'll get this thing rolling here real soon. So y'all just hang tight.
All right, boys. So we got our first coat of primer. We'll come back once this thing's dry. Hit it with one more coat. And then I think that's gonna be good, boys. I'm gonna lay down some of that silver I had left over. And uh, that's that. All right, boys, so that's the wing after the second coat of primer. As y'all can see, starting to dry in a lot of spots. But once it's fully dry, guys, it's dull black like that right there. But I'm gonna step out and uh, excuse me if y'all don't, if y'all hear me muffled. Um, I got my shirt over my face because the fumes is real in here still. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna get these windows opened up and uh, let this thing dry while I go out to eat with the miss and the kids. And uh, then uh, when I come back, I don't know, should be good and dry by then, but when I come back, Depending on what I have planned for the evening, I might come back here, fire the good old handy dandy propane heat up, and uh, yeah, get some silver on there. All right, boys, so I apologize, but I didn't come out here with my phone earlier when I came out to lay the paint down, and I already had the uh, building warmed up to paint, so I didn't get you boys any uh, paint 
any uh, video of me painting it with the color. But like I said before, guys, I just so happen to have some of this gray laying around. So I put it to use. It's most likely not the same gray as the car, but it'll look better than the black. And it's not perfect, but it's still wet. So here after a couple hours, I'll come back out here, check on it, see how it dried up. But uh, I'm happy with it, boys, no matter how much it don't match the uh, silver on the car. We're gonna be changing that out anyways, like I said, so. Yeah, guys, I can't wait to uh, get the um, unmasking part of this. It always looks better for some reason when you do that. But yeah, boys, uh, it's a lot of orange peel in it, but I ain't worried about it because uh, this will be sanded down and primered again for paint. And I'll get all that out, but just wanted to throw some, kind of like a rough draft. Just wanted to throw some paint on there to get it to match the rest of the car because it will be put on the car in the next 24 hours, God willing, to see what it looks like. Then uh, most likely wire up the light while it's on the car. So when we go out as a family, or if I take the car out for a spin, it's uh, legal. So yeah, give this thing two or three more hours and I'll come back out here, see what we working with boys. All right, boys. So as you can see, the wing is painted. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get ready to get it put on the car. All right, boys. So now that we uh we've got our wing it's all painted up got our uh our little mini impact got the uh tape stripped off the light as y'all can see boys it's not a perfect job just wanted to get some paint on it so it matches somewhat so Just gonna go ahead and uh, get the little piece of metal off of there. Get a little piece of tape off here. Had to put tape on these holes, boys. It started raining last night and didn't want to take no chances. So. It leaking into my trunk. It's already had enough water leak into the trunk. Problem that was happening before I took over the car. But get all this little bit of tape off and uh, get this thing lined up some. So, oh, let's get this off here too, boys. This was just like a little concoction I did because I didn't want the wires being all painted up and shit like that. So, I just went ahead and taped them all together. So, what I'm going to do first is try to feed these through the little hole of that I did for the wires, like so. See if I can find them on the inside. Of course not. So, hold on boys. Put this here like so. And, uh, here we go. Y'all can see, come out on this side. So, here we go. So, 
Now, let's try to grab a vault. get a swivel excuse the mess guys this is trash it's from the uh, box that the wing came in but didn't want to throw that away not knowing if the wing was going to be a keeper or not so as y'all can see boys look at that wing on that trunk that thing is straight y'all so we have one here now. We'll just that thing's tightened down. It looks good. I'm happy with it. Here, put the swivel on this one. guys there it is in all his glory m1 si wing on the coop damn she's sexy it's exactly what i was hoping for it's exactly what i was picturing in my head exactly what i wanted clean fit too boys look at that Don't set up too high or nothing. Man, she clean. Ooh, we. Let's just get that light working. We in business, boys. All right, guys, I want to thank you all for joining us on another one here at JNA Motorsports and Trucking. Um, if you're not subscribed, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button. If you liked the video and it helped you out or you just liked it, hit the like button as well. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button, whatever you want. But uh, yeah, we uh, accomplished another one. Um, the wing was a success. It was exactly what I imagined it to be, what I wanted it to look like. So, yeah, boys, uh, definitely stay tuned to more videos to come. Uh, we've got the uh, JDM Fender front fender, uh, front, of course, front fender. But, uh, we've got the JDM corner marker lights coming on their way they should be here in the next week or so so we're going to be cutting the holes in the fenders for that and to do so we're going to be basically 
going off of those old fender holes. I'm just gonna basically make a stencil out of that hole for this one. And then on the passenger side, of course, we just flip the stencil and uh, the measurements and all that good stuff. But we'll go over that when it's time. But like I said, stay tuned because um, we got the marker light video coming. Uh, God bless you all. Love you all. And uh, we'll check you out very soon. Stay tuned, boys. We out.